Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video, we are going to see overview of the concept Weeble distribution. We will also see examples based on it. First of all, we will go through the points that I am going to cover in this video. First, we will see introduction to Weeble distribution. Then we will properly define Weeble distribution. Next, we will see shape parameter, then scale parameter, and finally, we will see examples based on Weeble probability distribution. Now, let us proceed with the first point, introduction to Weeble distribution. Weeble distribution is a continuous probability distribution. It is used to evaluate product's lifetime, identifies failure patterns, and product's reliability analysis. The Weeble distribution is defined by two key parameters. One is called as shape parameter denoted by K and another one is called as scale parameter denoted by lambda. Now let us study these two parameters in detail. First we see shape parameter. Shape parameter describes how the failure rate changes over time. We denote shape parameter by K. If K is less than 1, then failure rate is decreasing. It indicates failures are more likely to occur early in life cycle and the rate decreases over time. For example, you can consider a new software application where bugs are fixed over the time. Therefore, as the time passes, the software becomes failure free. When k is equal to 1, the failure rate is constant. That means, Failure occurs randomly and are independent of time. For example, light bulbs where the chance of failure is consistent regardless of age. If k is greater than 1, then failure rate is increasing. That means failures are less likely at the beginning but become more frequent as the time ages. For example, the mechanical components like cars, tires or bearings which degrade over the time due to wear and tear. I hope you understood this parameter. Now we proceed for scale parameter. The scale parameter usually denoted by lambda determines the spread of the distribution along the time axis. It tells us when the most failures or events happen. If scale parameter is small, then failures happens very quickly. For example, the system or component has a short expected lifetime. If scale parameter is large, then event takes longer to occur. For example, high quality industrial machinery designed to last for decades. I hope you understood this parameter as well. Now we will understand both of these parameters with the help of example. Suppose we are analyzing the lifetime of two brands of wind turbines. Suppose brand A has K is equal to 1.5. As it is greater than 1, its failure rate is increasing. And scale parameter lambda is 10 years. It means that failures becomes more frequent as the turbines age. Most turbines last about 10 years before failures accelerate. Suppose brand B has K is equal to 0.8. Since it is less than 1, its failure rate is decreasing. And given that scale parameter is 7 years. It means failures occur early. We also call it as infant mortality. With the smaller chance of failure for those that survive beyond 7 years. I hope these two examples illustrate properly the scale and shape parameters. Now we define Weeble distribution. A random variable x is said to follow Weeble distribution with shape parameter k and scale parameter lambda. If its probability density function is given by a function f of x is equal to k upon lambda into x by lambda raised to k minus 1 into e raised to minus x by lambda whole raised to k whenever x is greater than or is equal to 0 and f of x is equal to 0 at any other point where x indicates time to failure 
k is a shape parameter and lambda is a scale parameter. I hope you understood this definition. Next we will see mean, variance and CDF of viewable distribution. Mean of random variable x usually denoted by e of x whose formula is integration of x into f of x dx over the limit 0 to infinity for any continuous random variable x. Here if we substitute f of x and evaluate this integral then we will find expectation of x that is mean is lambda into gamma of 1 plus 1 by k where this notation indicates gamma function. Variance of x usually denoted by v of x whose formula is expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square here is equal to lambda square into gamma of 1 plus 2 by k minus gamma of 1 plus 1 by k the whole square. Next we will find cumulative distribution function. We also call it as CDF. It is usually denoted by capital F of x which is probability of x less than or is equal to small x whose formula is integral of f of x dx over the limit minus infinity to x. If we substitute we will distributions function f of x over here we will see this integral evaluates to 1 minus e raised to minus x by lambda raised to k. So probability of x less than or is equal to x is given by 1 minus e raised to minus x by lambda raised to k where k is shape parameter lambda is scale parameter. Now we will proceed for some examples. In this example 1 we are given that the lifetime of a rechargeable battery under constant usage conditions follows a viewable distribution with parameters k is equal to 2 and lambda is equal to 10. Then we are asked to find number 1 mean time to failure and number 2 the probability that a battery is still functional at time t equal to 20. Let us proceed for solution. First we define the random variable. Let random variable x denote the lifetime of a rechargeable battery. Then given that x follows viewable distribution with parameters k is equal to 2 and lambda is equal to 10 using which we can define cumulative distribution function capital F of x which is probability of x less than or is equal to x whose formula is 1 minus e raised to minus x by lambda raised to k. Here k is 2 lambda is 10 so we find p of x less than or is equal to x is 1 minus e raised to minus x by 10 raised to 2. Now let us find the mean time to failure. Mean time is usually denoted by expectation of x and here it is equal to lambda into gamma of 1 plus 1 by k. Since lambda is 10 and k is 2 expectation of x will be 10 times gamma of 1 plus 1 by 2. 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 therefore expectation of x is 10 into gamma of 3 by 2. You can further calculate gamma of 3 by 2 using its integral definition or you can leave your answer at this point. Next we will find the probability that a battery is still functional at time t equal to 20. Probability that the battery is still functional at t equal to 20 can be denoted by p of x greater than or is equal to 20 because x indicates the lifetime of a rechargeable battery. So if x is greater than or is equal to 20 that means battery is still functional at time t equal to 20. p of x greater than or is equal to 20 using complement formula can be written as 1 minus p of x less than 20 and using CDF formula p of x less than 20 can be written as 1 minus e raised to minus 20 upon 10 the whole square. Using calculator you can calculate this to see p of x greater than or is equal to 20 is 0 0.018. So this is the required probability. I hope you understood this solution. Now let us proceed for next one. In this example we are given that an item is randomly drawn from a two parameter viewable population having a shape parameter 1.5 and scale parameter 100 hours. 
we are asked that what is the probability that the item fails before achieving a life of 25 hours. Let us proceed for solution. First we define random variable x. Let random variable x denote the lifetime of a given item. Given that this follows viewable distribution with parameters k is equal to 1.5 and lambda is equal to 100. Therefore, corresponding cumulative distribution function capital F of x that is p of x less than or is equal to small x can be given by 1 minus e raised to minus x upon 100 raised to 1.5 using this formula. Now we find the probability that the item fails before achieving the life of 25 hours. This can be denoted by p of x strictly less than 25 because x indicates the lifetime of a given item. Using definition of CDF, we can write p of x less than 25 as 1 minus e raised to minus x upon lambda raised to k, where x is 25, k is 1.5 and lambda is 100. After substituting values of x, lambda and k and solving, we get p of x less than 25 is equal to 0 0.118. Therefore, we can say the probability that the item fails before achieving the life of 25 hours is 0 0.118. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us proceed for next one. Given that a magnetic disc is exposed to corrosive gas, lifetime of a disc follows Weibull distribution with parameters lambda is equal to 300 and k is equal to 0 0.5. We are asked what will be the probability of it failing before 500 hours and number 2 lasts 600 hours or more. Let us proceed for solution. First we define random variable x. Let random variable x denotes the lifetime of a magnetic disk. Given that it follows Weibull distribution with parameters lambda is equal to 300 and k is equal to 0 0.5. Therefore, corresponding CDF can be given by capital F of x is equal to x, which is P of x less than or is equal to x is 1 minus e raised to minus x upon 300 raised to 0 0.5. Now we proceed to calculate the probability that the magnetic disk will fail before 500 hours. It can be denoted by P of x less than 500 because x indicates the lifetime of a magnetic disk. Using CDF formula, P of x less than 500 can be given by 1 minus e raised to minus 500 upon 300 raised to 0.5. After using calculator, you can say P of x less than 500 is equal to 0 0.725. Therefore, probability that the magnetic disk will fail before 500 hours is 0 0.725. Next, we try to calculate probability that the magnetic disk will last 600 hours or more. It can be denoted by P of x greater than or is equal to 600. Using complement formula, this can be written as 1 minus P of x less than 600. P of x less than 600 is 1 minus e raised to minus 600 upon 300 raised to 0.5, which further calculate to 0.2431. Therefore, probability that the magnetic disk will last 600 hours or more is 0 0.2431. Now let us proceed for last example. Given that the lifetime of a device in hours has a Weibull distribution with shape parameter k is equal to 1.2 and scale parameter lambda is equal to 1000. We are asked to find number 1 the probability that the device will last at least 1500 hours and number 2 approximate the mean of x. Let us proceed for the solution. First we define the random variable x. Let random variable x denotes the lifetime of a device. Given that it follows Weibull distribution with shape parameter k is equal to 1.2 and lambda is equal to 1000. Therefore corresponding CDF that is capital F of x is given by P of x less than or is equal to x is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus x upon 1000 raised to 1 
now we proceed to calculate probability that the device will last at least 1500 hours it can be denoted by p of x greater than or is equal to 1500 because x indicates the lifetime of a device using complement formula we can write this as 1 minus p of x less than 1500 and using cdf formula p of x less than 1500 can be written as 1 minus e raised to minus 1500 upon 1000 raised to 1 1.2 which further calculates to 0 0.1966 therefore probability that the device will last at least 1500 hours is 0 0.1966 Next, we calculate the mean of x. Mean of x, that is expectation of x, has formula lambda into gamma of 1 plus 1 by k, where lambda is 1000 and k is 1.2. After substituting these values, we find mean is 1000 into gamma of 2.2 upon 1.2, which further evaluates to 940.66. Therefore, the approximate mean of x is 940.66 hours. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. These are some practice examples for you. Their final solutions are also written over here. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you were able to solve these examples, whether you got these answers or not. Please also write me in comment box how much useful you find this video is for you. Guys, please practice these examples. Keep watching my videos until I publish my next video. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.